Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a uterine polyp on ultrasonography. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Now you can see the urinary bladder, uterus, and and endometrial polyps in the middle and distal portion of the uterus. Uterine polyps are more likely to develop in women who are between 40 and 50 years of old than in younger women. This patient is aged about 32 years and have three children. Uterine polyps can occur after menopause but rarely occurs in women under 20 years old. Around 5% of uterine polyps are cancerous or precancerous. Uterine polyps range in size from a few millimeter, no larger than a sesam seed, to several centimeters golf ball size or larger. They attach to the uterine bar by a large base of a thin stalk. You can have one or more uterine polyps. Now the signs and symptoms of the uterine polyps include irregular menstrual bleeding, for example having frequent unpredictable periods of variable length and heaviness. Bleeding between menstrual periods, excessive heavy menstrual periods, vaginal bleeding after menopause and infertility. Now the Causes of the uterine polyps Each month, estrogen levels in women rise and fall, causing the lining of the uterus to thicken and then shed during your periods. Polyps form when too much of that lining grows. That may be due to the changes in the estrogen levels that happen just before and during menopause. Treatment may not be necessary if polyps do not cause any symptoms. However, polyps should be treated if they cause heavy bleeding during menopause periods or if they are suspected to be precancerous or cancerous. If a polyp discovers, is discovered after menopause, it should be removed. You can see the uterine polyp and it has slightly heterogeneous ecogenicity. It is rare for a uterine polyps to be cancerous if they are not causing any problems. Monitoring the polyps over time is a reasonable approach if you develop symptoms such as abnormal bleeding. However, then the polyp should be removed and evaluated to confirm that there is no evidence of cancers. After removal of the polyps, the patient can return to work in a few days. She may notice a little spotting after a few days. Only a small percentage of polyps seems to, be, seems to come back, but it is possible that months or years after treatment, the polyps might reoccur. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus leads to the formation of these uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Approximately half of the women with uterine polyps have irregular periods. Other symptoms include prolonged or excessive menstrual bleeding, that is menorrhagia, bleeding between periods and bleeding after menopause or sexual intercourse. Uterine polyps are the cause of abnormal bleeding in 25% of these cases. Uterine polyps are benign tumors that originate in the uterus, although they are composed of some smooth muscle fibers as the uterine wall endomyometrium, they are much denser than normal endometrium. You can find for some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.